Dear students, our today's topic is input devices. After completion of this topic, you will be able to discuss about input devices. So let's start our lecture. First of all, we will see what is an input. The data or instructions given to the computer is called input. So students, the devices that are used to enter data and instructions into the computer are called input devices. Different input devices are keyboard, mouse, scanner, joystick, etc. So students, let's discuss them. Keyboard. Keyboard is the most commonly used input device. It is used to enter data and instructions into a computer. Keyboard is looks like a typewriter, but a computer keyboard has some special keys used to perform special functions. The buttons on the keyboard are called keys and a keyboard can be divided into following parts. Function keys, alphanumeric keys, numeric keypad, cursor control keys or navigation keys. Next is pointing devices. An input device used to control a pointer on the screen is called pointing device. Means pointing devices are those devices that control the cursor or pointer on the screen. So now what is pointer? A pointer is a small symbol that appears on the screen. So by using pointer, we select text, images, icons. And pointers are used in graphical user interface. Some pointing devices are mouse, joystick, trackball, etc. So students, let's discuss them. First one is mouse. A mouse is a pointing device. It is used to control the cursor or pointer on the screen and to give commands to the computer. A mouse is moved on a flat surface to control the movement of the cursor. A mouse has two or three buttons and these buttons are used to perform different tasks. For example, opening a program, selecting an object, etc. There are different types of mouse. In mechanical mouse, it has a rubber or metal ball inside it. The ball rotates as the mouse is rolled over a flat surface. Next is optical mouse. Optical mouse has no ball inside it. It uses a device that emits and senses light to detect the movement of mouse. Next is wireless mouse. Wireless mouse is not directly connected with computer. It uses the wireless technology like Bluetooth. And next is ear mouse. Ear mouse is similar to remote control. It is used in presentations for running slideshow and controlling media. Next pointing device is trackball. A trackball is a pointing input device. It has movable ball on its top and the ball is rolled with fingers to control the movement of pointer on the screen. It takes less space to move than mouse and it is included in laptop computers. Next is touchpad. Touchpad is also known as trackpad. It is a small flat surface over which a user slides his or her fingertip to move the pointer on a screen. Touchpads are now commonly used with portable computers or laptops. Next is touch screen. It is a touch sensitive display device means a display in which when we touch then a screen sends. Using touch screen, data is directly entered by touching the screen with user's fingertip. 
touch screens use sensors to detect the touch of a finger. An automated teller machine ATM interface is an example of touch screen. Next is joystick. Joystick is also a pointing device which is used to move the cursor position on the monitor screen. It consists of base and a stick. The stick can be moved in any direction to move an object, like left, right, up and down. It is mostly used by children to play games. Next is microphone. Microphone is used to input human voice or any other sound into computer. It converts the sound into digital signals. The sound stored in the computer can be listened using speakers. Microphones are commonly used in audio and video calls over the internet. Next is digital camera. Digital camera is an input device that takes pictures and stores them as digital images. Digital cameras store images on storage in the camera or on some memory card. Photos can be transferred to a computer. Many smartphones and other mobile devices have built-in digital cameras. Next is a scanner. A scanner is an input device. It reads the printed text or images and stores them in the computer in digital form. The scan document can be displayed on the computer screen. And the advantage of scanner is that the user does not need to type the input and the input can be entered into the computer quickly and accurately using the scanner. And different types of scanner are handheld scanner and flatbed scanner. Next is optical reader. Optical readers are input device. These devices use light source to read characters, marks, or codes. They convert them into digital signals that a computer can process. And some examples are barcode reader, optical character recognition, and optical mark recognition. Let's discuss them briefly. Barcode Reader Barcode is a unique identification code. It consists of vertical lines or bars. Barcode is printed on the product. So the barcode reader is used for reading barcodes printed on the products. And it uses laser beams to read barcode. It reads barcode printed on the products and translates it into digital signals. And students, next is optical character recognition. Optical character recognition is a device that is used for reading typewritten, computer printed or handwritten characters from paper. It translates them into a form that a computer can process. So how it works? It has a device that emits a light and reflects with each character and returns back. It generates a pattern and then sends that pattern to a computer. And in computer, there is an OCR software that generates a character based on scanner result. So OCR is better because in it, character by character scanning is done. Next is optical mark recognition. A device is used to read handwritten marks such as circles or rectangles or especially printed sheet. It is used in multiple choice tests. So students, in these tests, 
there are four options in every statement a b c and d so we mark any one option so that we solve all the questions and at the end omr sheet is generated and then scan this omr sheet in omr scanner and students omr scanner scan the sheet by using light beam and then result of the test will be calculated so i hope you understand this concept and next is biometric input devices biometric is a technology to authenticate the identity of a person that verify person characteristics so biometric is a methodology in which we use the physical characteristics of a person and identify that person so students biometric device converts a personal characteristics in digital code this digital code is compared with the digital code stored in the computer so some examples of biometric devices are fingerprint reader and face recognition system so i hope students you understand all the input devices Thank you.